Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about what is something only a senior level developer, developer will know about coding. Well, I would say when to apply best practices, when to be pragmatic and what it actually means when somebody says that this is uh, this is the uh, th this is a best practice. Like if I would say, just in general, uh, I have I can only c I can only state that the the difference the senior developer is the only person who really know uh, who really understands what good software how how good software is produced. They are the only person who can do it because they've been around for so long and see so many different types of people and even themselves, of course. Uh, they've fucked up so many projects and they've been part of so much fail failure and so many systems that have either, either worked really well and some examples where the system has worked really really shittily that they start to see the pattern. They start to understand that just because you use uh, so called quote, quote unquote best practices doesn't mean that you're applying them in the correct way or that you're using them under the right circumstances because uh, there is a difference I like to say between uh, reading about a concept and understanding at a very shallow level its meaning and being wise and wisdom is a much harder thing to come by because wisdom is that in my uh, opinion in at least this area is that you have allowed the information to settle in you have not only read about the information you don't just understand it at a logical level you understand the nuances of its purpose and its usage you understand the 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 soul the spirit of the thing which is it's similar to uh, do you understand do you understand what a uh, do you understand the law or do you understand the purpose of the law what is the intention what is your what are you trying to acquire achieve with it and it's the same sort of thing a senior developer it's the only person who understands the complexity, uh, complexities and intric intricacies of software development because I see so many a scary amount I would say that I, honestly I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to think that this is inevitable like uh, I have, I, I've acquired my own saying which is that uh, the cost a, a software company pays for having unchecked uh, developers, so like people who are not, uh, uh, who aren't working with a very experienced developer, or like you have, you don't have senior developers who are involved in the development processes of like inexperienced developers. The cost of that is paid in legacy code, and it's practically impossible to avoid it. I would say, because what what's going on for the most part is that you have these genius programmers or like mid-level or junior programmers who who believe that they understand what best practices are or they believe every single word that is being said on the tech talks and they they preach it as if it's their own religion and they get so enthusiastic about it that they apply it blindly I like to say that uh, they, they seem they, they get so excited about the solution that they don't even think about if they have that problem or not. They like uh, they reverse it. I like to say that the best programmers are problem problem oriented. In other words, they pick the solution when they understand the problem. But these people they they don't do that because they think that they understand everything there is to know about software development, and so they reverse it and then they hear about a cool idea or a cool tool or something like that and then they just apply it and then you will never like uh, I th and I think that this happens all the time uh, I've, I've never seen it fail most of the time in, in practically any company there's always at least a few people who do this and they, these are the things that lead to really shitty systems and instabilities and so forth usually I find that the senior developers uh, which is kind of funny in a way. I mean, it's not always the case. They are absolutely senior developers who are just really st stuck in the old days. Like they're so old school, and that they 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 aren't actually all that skilled. They're more 
it's more comfort, if that makes sense, that is driving their motivation for being more conservative with their tooling. But the ones who are really, really good, the ones who really get it, they are able to see that, well, this new practice that you're trying to preach, sure, it is true that this is useful, but it's useful in these circumstances. And we don't have those circumstances. We have these circumstances. And sure, there are a few overlaps here and there. There are a few small minor things that are applicable to us but the, this is the v wisdom coming in they understand they understand a bigger the bigger picture they understand that well yes uh, we could use it and get like these tiny benefits but the heart and soul of our pr process and the way that we do work is not going to be di all that affected in act in actuality it's very likely that we're simply going to introduce a lot of complexity to, this, uh, to the system and we're going to trade a few perks here and there because there are, I mean, no developer usually just says that we should do something without having at least some value proposition. Uh, yes, there is a value, but it's such a subjective thing. And it's such a minor thing that it's actually not worth it because it introduces a lot of complexity. Uh, it's uh, it's like someone by like, uh, the junior developers who preach these tools, it's like, I don't know, they're buying their car based on how amazing the air freshener is. It's the, like, it, it, sure, it's a nice thing if you have a good air freshener, but it, you can't, you cannot make a decision on behalf of the, like, the, there are more important things to consider, much more important things, and that is the thing that a senior developer understands, and only a senior developer understands, and in my, at least what I believe, it is because they have themselves gone through all of these sorts of processes and understood that uh, it's it it's uh, it, when you're picking your stack uh, your when you're picking a stack for a larger project or if you're working with multiple developers there are more complexities and more nuances to to solving problems than simply going with the thing that is being promoted at the time uh, there's a uh, it's it's more complicated than that and that is why in at least my opinion they should be earning the bigger paychecks they should like that's what you're paying them for is to be able to inform other developers of good decisions and bad decisions because that experience is the thing that will, will safeguard the product long term so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, the only the, at least what i believe the thing that only senior developers really know about uh, or they uh, that they understand that the mid levels and the juniors don't usually understand is when uh, a good practice is actually a good practice and when you should break the good practice or you should avoid it or you should not follow a new trend or something like that they understand what uh, what it takes to make a product a success which is the thing that everybody is buying guys this is the thing that a lot of us don't understand and this is the thing that uh, the reason why we have all of these problematic code bases and failures with new uh, new concepts because uh, just because something is on a tech talk or just because it's a new thing it doesn't necessarily mean that you have that problem it's uh, it's like you people are selling hammers and uh, screwdrivers and you think that they're the same thing and you like but what you really need is a saw but you can't see that you need a saw. You think that you need the hammer, and you're trying to you're trying to solve your problem with the wrong tool. And that's what the senior understands. The senior understands that this is a very complicated problem with many nuances. And sure, there are a few benefits to the thing that you are suggesting, but the overall problem we have is not uh, best solved with the thing that you are suggesting. So what we need is actually a solution that might be, be a better fit for us. This experience, this is the only that, that perspective is what the senior developer has that the junior does not because they have simply got not gone in through enough failures and successes and not worked with enough people at different types of projects and seen enough diversity. They don't have, they don't have a holistic picture of the the nuances of solving really complicated problems for for IT companies, and that is ultimately, which is the big secret of IT the companies that you work for guys they don't give a shit about the trendiest tools they just want things to work and they want them to work really effectively and the second we get to a point where the tech and the tooling is more important than building good solutions well then programming is no longer useful
have a great day.